next grammar point is imperative. Imperative is a verb form that is used to convey a command or request. For example, in the sentence, please give me the book, the verb give, the form give is an imperative because it's a request here. Similarly, in the second sentence, go to your room, go is a command, go is an imperative form. Let's take imperative in Hindi. The imperative in Hindi is formed by adding endings to the root of the verb. Here we will take two verbs as examples. The verb one, ana, to come, the vowel ending root, and the verb two, khelna, to play, a consonant ending root. For ana, the root is a, and for khelna, the root is khel. The imperative form for tu does not have any ending. That means the root itself is the imperative form. For the verb ana, it is a, come, for the verb khelna, it is khel, play. So, tu a, you come, tu khel, you play. I just want to remind you that tu is an extremely informal and can be taken as root comment, so please avoid it. To make imperative for tum, the ending o is added to the root of the verb. The verb one has the root a, so the imperative form would be ao. And the verb two has the root khel, so the imperative form would be khelo. So, tum ao, you come, tum khelo, you play. Aap is the second person plural subject pronoun. It is the most formal and polite way of addressing someone. The students are advised to use it all the time. The ending for AAP is EA or EA. They both sound very similar, but the spellings are different. So for the verb one, the root is A. Simply add the ending EA to the root to make the imperative form IA. Please come. The verb two has the root KHEL and simply add the ending EA to get the imperative form KHELIA. Please play. So here in these two examples, I have given you two different verbs, ana and khelna. The root of the first verb ends in a, it is a vowel ending root, and the root of the second verb ends in l, a consonant ending root. In case of the first verb where the root ends in vowel, you write the full vowel, the full ending, ao. You can see that the full vowel of the ending o is written. Similarly for a, ia, the full ending ea is added to the root. In case of the second verb where the root ends in consonant, khel, the diacritic o, the matra o is added to the root, khelo. And similarly for ap, the matra e or the diacritic e is added to the khel to form khelie. You can see in the second verb that the full vowel is not written because the root of the verb ends in consonant l, khel. So it is khelo and Kelly. Let's take some example sentences. Bacho bag me khelo. Children play in the garden. Here the subject is tum. That's why it is khelo. Gopal ji kripaya here. Mr. Gopal, please sit down. So here the subject is aap. That's why it is here the ea ending. Kahiye aapko kya chahiye? Tell me what do you want? So here it is EA ending, that means the subject is AAP. Apna kaam karo, mind your own business. Literally it means do your own stuff. So here you can see that this is some kind of command form so, and the subject is TUM. Apna kaam karo, karo with O ending. And finally, zara muskraiye, give me a smile. Literally smile a bit. Here again the ending is EA, that means the subject is AAP. A few verbs in Hindi have irregular forms and these verbs are quite common too. The first one is karna, to do. It has irregular aap form, kijiye, not kariye. You might hear many people using kariye, the incorrect form, but the standard form is kijiye. For lena, to take, the tum form is lo, it's not leo. The aap form is lijiye, not leye. Similarly, dena, to give, the tum form is do, not deo. And the aap form is dijiye, not deiye. For pina, to drink, the aap form is pijiye. Chai lijiye, please have, take some tea. Ye kaam kijiye, please do this job. The irregular form kijiye is here, not kariye. Mujhe paise do, give me the money. So the verb here is dena and the imperative form for tum is do. Coca-Cola pijiye, please drink Coca-Cola. 
मैं अभी आता हूं मेरा इंतजार कीजिए आई एम कमिंग प्लीज वेट फॉर मी In imperative, the negation is expressed with the particles mat and na. Mat is mainly used for tu and tum. For example, mat ro, don't cry. The subject here is tu. Zyada mithai mat khao. Do not eat too many sweets. The subject here is tum. The particle na is used to negate the imperative sentences with aap. Ye film na dekhiye. Don't watch this movie. Aisa na kijiye. Don't do it, please. खिड़कियां न खोलिए डोंट ओपन द विंडोज प्लीज दर इज अक फीचर इन इंपेरेटिव इन हिंदी इट इज कॉल्ड इंपेरेटिव फ्यूचर द इंपेरेटिव फ्यूचर एक्सप्रेसिस अ कमांड रिक्वेस्ट इन फ्यूचर वेन द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द कमांड और द रिक्वेस्ट इज एक्सपेक्टेड इन फ्यूचर द इंपेरेटिव फ्यूचर इज यूज to form the imperative future for aap the additional ga is added to the aap form of the imperative for example ye kaam zarur kijiyega definitely do this job or please make sure you complete this job the expected completion of the request is in future that's why it is kijiyega so simply add the ga ending to the imperative form for aap so kijiye is the imperative form and kijiyega is the imperative future kal hamare ghar aayega Please come to our house tomorrow. Again, you can see that the expected execution of the request is in future. That is tomorrow. For tum and tu, the infinitive form, the dictionary form of the verb is used. For example, अपने अध्यापक से स्कूल में पूछना. Ask your teacher in school. You can see that the expected execution of the command to ask is in future. कल देर तक मत सोना. Do not sleep till late tomorrow. Here too you can see the expected action is in future